Alright guys, in this video I will be explaining why I think Deku does not love Aurorika and I know people in the comments are going to have a heated debate on who you think Deku should end up with but we still got a lot of anime to go and things can change in the blink of an eye. Not calling out names here but come on, when Sakura was drooling over Sasuke for years and then out of nowhere she loved Naruto, everybody knowing damn well that's not true. What I said was, I love you Naruto. Gone! Or just how did every single person end up a couple out of nowhere at the end of Naruto? They all decided to go balls deep at the same time and have all their kids at the exact same time too who eventually want to become ninja just like them? <coughs> Something's fishy going on here. But anyways, I ask you just to wait to the end of the video and hear my explanation on why and many others think that Deku does not love or have feelings for Uraraka. I would also love to see you comment at the end of the video just to let me know what you think and what your opinion is to others, just like all of these individuals did in the community tab when I asked them what they think about this topic. Just to let you guys know, this video is sponsored by Anime Ryo. They sell My Hero Academia products and there is a discount code which is ABD Squad, 10% off everything that you order in checkout. Other anime products are on sale too like Naruto or Dragon Ball Z so if you want to grab a gift or something for yourself, check it out. Now I'll start by saying I am not at all implying that they will never end up together because no one knows that yet, only the creator knows what is going to happen. And I am just giving you an opinion on the topic. I believe Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia, has kept this subject matter open on purpose. This is because it's a great way of writing your story as it leads to new and multiple pathways to take Deku's character for example. It essentially doesn't let your character be stuck in one path which results in rigid writing. It also doesn't make your readers have tunnel vision. For example, if we already had the knowledge that Deku did indeed love or have feelings for Uraraka, this would mean we as viewers only naturally will become more judgmental towards his actions, reactions or mannerisms when it came to plot decisions, interacting with even other female characters or dealing with villains. To say Deku does already have feelings for Uraraka and they are indeed in love with each other when My Hero Academia still has so much more material to offer, it really drowns the potential of the series and other characters that would develop or be implemented into the story since we already have knowledge of one of Deku's end goals, to be married to Uraraka, right? It will kinda make some other female characters downplayed too with his interactions with him. Another thing to remember is that the characters in the anime are teenagers and it's only natural to act in the manner which they are. For someone to develop feelings for each other at this age and when you see your classmates almost every day and going through life changing experiences together, like almost dying every other month, it's expected. You create special bonds with each other through trust. The way the anime is portraying Deku is that he doesn't think too highly about himself to even consider that he could have a chance with Uraraka, which makes him not to go into pursuit of her affection. Deku is a humble character and whenever he is complimented he seems embarrassed. Uraraka seems to be the heroine of the anime, so much so that most people think that it's clear that they'll get together and for many it was set in stone thanks to her actually loving Deku shown in multiple scenes. But the thing is, we should all realise that Deku hasn't shown any strong feelings of love towards her back, nor have we had any exposition of him thinking about it like Uraraka does. For example, take a look at the careful wording that Horikoshi created in chapter 3 of the manga with his reaction after his first encounter with Uraraka. He says, I talked to a girl. He didn't say anything specific about her, just that he talked to a girl. Like I don't know about you guys, but if I see a girl I find attractive, I'd be like damn she got some of them nice assets or personality or something, you know what I'm saying? Usually when you find someone attractive, you should know what you like about them. Deku seems to be nervous just because a girl talked to him. Uraraka was the first person Izuku interacted with when he first came to UA high school. The two are best friends, they get along very well and their discussions are always bright and friendly. 
Araraka was the one that turned his once demeaning nickname Deku into a positive identity for him, when she said it gave her a never give up vibe for example. Because of Deku not having a quirk, being shunned by his classmates and being harassed by Bakugo, it's pretty much killed his social life right, which caused him to have social anxiety in certain situations which explains why he's embarrassed around girls. My Hero Academia takes place in a city called Mustafu, based in Japan, which is also located somewhere near Tokyo, so from that we can assume that he spent 3 years in middle school being constantly harassed by his peers for being quirkless. In those 3 years, not having social interactions up till this point and not any friends, he started attending UA high school. It's like when a kid who tasted candy for the first time and is surprised of how good it is, it just threw him off guard because he was not used to being himself right? So from that we can assume Deku acting flustered and excited because he now has a friend who is a girl and one whom he can consider his best friend alongside all the others since he didn't really have any before. Another example is in chapter 57, he ends up just labelling Araraka as just a girl when he ends the phone call. After he ended his call with her, I quote he says, I talked to a girl on the phone, awesome, a real girl and then he sighs. Again, he said nothing about her specifically, not saying Araraka-san or her, it's just that he talked to a girl via phone. Usually when people like someone, you would say at least their name, but Deku does not. He seems like he is just excited about the experience. Like think about it, if that was Rock Lee talking to Sakura who is his crush on the phone like that, wouldn't he react in a different way right? On the contrary to this, after the call, Araraka was very flustered and when Gunhead asks was it a love interest, she gets embarrassed and says let's get back to training, therefore Deku was really clueless that she likes him and it stays that way in a one sided relationship throughout the manga if you think about it. Further evidence of this is in chapter 109 for example, Araraka clearly shows she has feelings for Deku again but she decides to suppress them. She says and I quote, what the hell am I doing? After that Araraka's classmate Yuga asked, do you love him? And she says I need to push down these feelings, it's because I know I've got to give it my best just like he does, that I've got to push down these feelings. This is great character development for Araraka, it shows that she has grown as a person and is striving to be the best she can be, she idolises Deku and sees him as a source of inspiration. Horikoshi giving her this characterization makes it easier for him to explore her future since they can bounce off each other and are established as best friends right? Like it also shows she is now not just being a hero for money or fame, she wants to prove herself to everyone and help others which is what a true hero should want. I think he has, he may well develop feelings for her in the f near future and she's set up as the female lead and romantic interest but I guess it's just gonna take some time. It's easy to see that he has shown the most attraction towards Araraka, personally I like the pair and I want them together but there's no need of serious development for them to get together right now in the show. I just think that Deku is focusing on becoming the top hero right now and he's kinda tunnel visioning on his dream and just doesn't see Araraka likes him, much like how most shonen protagonists feel that way. Furthermore, let's be honest, Horikoshi has admitted that Naruto, One Piece and other western comics have inspired him, and it's 100% fact as well as evident from his peers such as Keijimoto or Oda that creating a questionable ship within an anime actually helps create sales through the hype or discussions that occurs with the fanbase, even this video I'm kinda promoting My Hero Academia, because it draws a reader's attention more to keep coming back to see the story of My Hero Academia since it pulls on our heartstrings, why wouldn't he want to emulate the best storytelling from things that inspire him, he wants us to keep reading and writing and get addicted to the show, which we are. <laughs> That's why in my opinion, I think the creator of My Hero Academia has kept this subject matter open ended on purpose. Logically speaking, in Horikoshi's point of view, he doesn't want Deku to come across as a douche and unlikable character. Deku is the embodiment of a hard worker, hope and the light within darkness that we can all aspire to be ourselves. He has openly admitted himself, he wants Deku to be the embodiment of a superhero. Deku all in all throughout My Hero Academia, he's kinda gonna be displayed as a stoic personality much like All Might was. He repeats it himself over and over again in the start of every episode, this is my story of how I became the number one hero. 
So from now on, whenever you guys read or watch My Hero Academia, I want you guys to start noticing the wording or behaviour Deku has towards Aurorika and vice versa. You will start to see how it may be one-sided at the moment. However, one of the end goals for both of these characters at the end of the anime is going to be together. They want to be together. This will bring the story full circle and be accepted by the fanbase because that's what we all want to see, right? So right now, I definitely don't think Deku has feelings for her and it's done on purpose. There are many more chapters and evidence that can showcase the point which I'm trying to illustrate in this video too. So be sure to let everyone know in the comment section below if you notice them just like all the guys did in the community tab. Shout out to every one of you on the screen here and let me know your opinion on the topic. Don't be shy guys, you know, you let me know, I read your comments and we see you guys next time.